Hi everybody, Nalzi here and it's time to play some more Game Dev Tycoon. I hope you're strapped in and ready to make some fucking great games. Had a look through the previous uh, video's comment section and I got quite a lot of good ideas that I am ready to rock and roll with. Uh, so we're going to start off by just making a game. So, Tess is no longer supported. Fantastic, right, okay. We're going to make our first game. It's going to be a gameling game. Uh, pick a topic. Right, so the first topic is virtual pets, genre, uh, simulation, I'm just looking over here, yep, yeah. virtual pet sim, platform is for the gameling, so I think this is our first gameling game, professional v1.5. Now this is, <laughs> this is a suggestion from Emma Bean, and it's called Ain't Your Pet No Mole, and I'm going to put no mole, she said no more, but I'm going to say no mole. Um, so the, the premise of this game is that you are a animal rights kind of uh, worker. You work in the public sector and it's your job to go to homes where pets are being abused or being uh, mistreated and you take the pets from the nasty owners and you look after the pets and then you, uh, <clears throat> you, you kind of get them new homes or you, you know, find them uh, places to live and things like that. And it's basically looking after pets. But rather than from an owner point of view, from a caretaker point of view, it's a very interesting idea. So this is for the young market. Because kids got to kids gotta understand that, you know, treating your pets with respect is important. Virtual pet sim for the game. Like, this is going to be a fucking tip. Bestseller. 2D graphics. Yep. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. I've got another video coming out tonight. I don't know which one I'm going to put out first, but probably, uh, hmm, probably the other one. So this is my second video. Hi, everyone, for my second video. Uh, engine, right. Okay, so story quest, no. Gameplay, yeah. Uh, engine, yeah. So we'll put that like that. So engine should be two-thirds, but story quest should not be there at all. I want that rid of it. But that should be two-thirds. This should be three-thirds, right? So that's like that, I think. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, great day today. Figured I'd make some vids. Uh, BlizzCon. When I'm thinking when I'm putting uh, this is BlizzCon day. So good stuff there. What, what AI will be quite important. Level design will probably be here. Um, look, I am very much looking forward to BlizzCon. BlizzCon is going to be fucking amazing. New WoW expansion. Then you've got Heroes of the Storm, which is the, Bl the Blizzard... M uh, not MMO. The Blizzard... Um, Dota fucking thing, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, can we put basic sounds? I don't know, we can't. Alright, get graphics, yeah, very high. Sound, probably two thirds as high. And world design, probably like here. Let's try that. I'm very excited for it. I'm uh, I'm probably gonna be watching all night. I don't, I don't even know how I'm gonna survive. Let's fix all these bugs. We're probably gonna, let's fill this position. After we're done with this game, let's fill this position. Are we done? Finish. No, marketing! Fuck, I forgot marketing. I always forget marketing. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we forgot to market this game, so we've got no hype. That, I'm really sorry, guys. That was my bad. Let's release this piece of shit anyway and see what happens. First reviews are in. What are they going to give us? A nine? Oh, they're focused on gameplay. It served them well. Okay. An eight? Okay, Inform Gamer thinks it's okay. He loves it. What's this, another nine? Outstanding game from Game Hero. Wonderful. Almost perfect from all games. Okay, well, let's generate a game report and see if we can see if we can't work out why it's not perfect. Uh, let's do that. Now, Nalzi, I want you to train. Nalzi, I want you to train game dev gems. Because you're not doing anything else anyway, but sitting around on your arse. Probably on Reddit or on Tumblr. Nah, Nalzi will probably be on Tumblr, actually. Um... That's what I'm. That's what I do all the time. Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Yeah, I nailed that. Platform match good. Audience match great. All ah, right. So sim and on the game league is not great, is what that tells us. Uh, I want you to do some training as well. Actually, you can do make me think. So they could both do some training now. While they're training, let's fill this position. Let's hire a new employee. Many rookies hire too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to put some more budget into this because we have quite a lot of cash. Let's put 200 grand into this, right? And we did game demo the last time, so let's do complex algorithms this time. Because Nalzi and Thingy are quite good, I think, at design. But we need someone to take out our technology. 
maybe. Yeah, let's do that. So this is our technology person. A lot of good surprises waiting for you and there ain't no pet no more visual- wait a minute. There are a lot of good surprises waiting for you and ain't your pet no more. Visually pleasing in an, is an understatement. This game looks incredibly good. Simply one of the best games I've played, Jason Wood Gaming World. Wow. Fucking good review there from, from Jason. Thank you, Jason. Alright, we're searching for this position. These guys are still training away. Who have we got? We've got uh, Jared Gomez, who's very high tech, high speed. Um, well, he's alright, speed. Right, first of all, wow, 9k a month, 11k a month, so Jared is expensive. Research 190, 170, so better than Jared. 158, better than Jared there. 283 tech, 176 tech, 23 design. Oh, sorry, Jared is a better employee. He's a, oh, he's a level 2 employee, that's why. So Jared is a level 2 employee. A level 2 of Jace, of Jacob or Sean is going to be... That's probably going to be 22k a month. And that's probably going to be 19k a month. So we might as well go for Jared. Let's hire Jared. Welcome, Jared. You fucking legend, Jared. Look at you, you goddamn... Goddamn fucking cool guy. Right. Are you guys still researching? Come on now. When is this research finished? <clears throat> You are not anywhere close to finishing, actually. Well, let's, um... I can't even research a new topic, can I? Hi again, I heard you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list, so you're looking for more contract work? Just let me know, Jason. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Okay, well, we're training up Jared. Ain't your pet no more is off the market. It's sold like shit tons. Actually, we made a profit, so that's good. Nalzi, I think... Is that his efficiency meter? I think he's about to finish his training. I think. Finish your training, Nalzi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah? Are you finished? Yes, you are. Okay, so what we're going to do with you, Nalzi, is you're going to research us a new topic. Or 2D Graphics V3. No, fuck that. We're not doing that again. Uh, right, what, we, what I'm looking at my other screen. Uh, we don't need any alternative history. That sounds like an interesting one, actually. Let's research alternate history. And you, do you need to go on vacation? You look like your bar's quite low. Yeah, you need a you need a holiday. <clears throat> Jared, are you ready to go? No, your efficiency meter is not high enough, is it? I didn't think so. Jared, let's do. Oh, we need to train you, don't we? Don't we need to like train you of like intro there? No. Don't don't we need to give you like introduction to the company or something training? I thought we needed to do it like intro to the company. Uh, oh well. Let's do... Let's give him some uh, research. His his research is... We need him design. We, I'd like him to have more design. Let's do... 5 RP actually. Fuck that. Jared, you're not getting that. Right, we've completed alternate history. Let's research another new topic. Let's research uh, superheroes. Get that out of the way. Because I like, I like to kind of, you know... Batter things through, point for point. So Jared is nearly there at its peak efficiency. Seems the market is normally going with no particular strong trends at the moment. Okay, is there anything else we could do? Let's, let's have a look at the contract work we've got available. I think we can get through that now that we've got Jared. Um, but people say it's not worth doing all this contract work. You know, once you get to the stage that we are at. Which is a bit shit. Because I think, I think it's quite a good idea. <clears throat> vacuum robot. Create a revolutionary AI for vacuum robot. Oh my god. I don't think we can do that, though. Right, anyway. right, let's wait for these boys to finish. You're coming off vacation. You've just completed superheroes. Right, shall we make a new game? Is, I want to wait for Jared to be finished with his shit. Um, we can't research anything. We've got no research points. Jared, hurry the hell up, would you? Flipping hell. Come on, Jared! I don't even know what this is. This is efficiency, right? Dear best and greatest games, oh, game convention, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invitation to participate in the biggest gaming convention on the planet Games Games Games, also known as G3. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for games we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with booth options. Hope to see you at G3. I'll go at G3. Fucking A. Absolutely right. Jared's nearly finished. I think that's his introduction to the company training. Proposition. Decrypt the message. What is this? This is a very special offer. 
Our agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical systems of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer 68k to the enclosed location and we'll initiate sabotage. Agent Blowfish. Fuck off. The fuck do I look like? Right. Develop new game. Yes. Okay, so the second game that we're going to make today. Which one? Which one? That one or that one? That one or that one? That one or that one? Uh, well, we've already made a sim, so let's do this one. So this one is by uh, a YouTube name, Films You Hate. And it's called Espionagery, which I think is a great name. Uh, should we make this a medium game? Let's, let's, let's take a foray into medium. It's for everyone. It's a spy adventure game uh, for the PC. We'll put it on the professional 1.0. Uh, v 1.5 even, sorry. Espionagery. So it's a game where you play a spy. It's a spy adventure game. Basically, your standard James Bond stuff coming into play. It's going to be just a rip-roaring yarn of a, a new spy who's out in the fields. Wait a minute. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game and make the best of your team, you will have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign team member responsibilities, you will see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Okay. Okay, okay. So how do we... Team allocation preview. Drag staff here, okay. So Nazi is good on design. But how do we know which part of this? Well, I guess it's... So we'll put high design here for Nalzi. Louis Carlson is better at this, so we'll put him there. Jared, you can do the story quests. Okay. I think that's about right. Um, now, is gameplay going to be the most important thing here? It's an adventure game, so probably story and quests is going to be quite important, actually, now I think about it. Um... Maybe a little bit more so than Engine. Uh, which gives Nalzi a bit more troubling task on gameplay. I'm going to try that. Now, marketing. Let's market this bitch. We've got 2.5 million, so let's make it a big... Uh, let's make it a small campaign. 500k, this could be a bad move. A small campaign. Let's do, let's do a magazine and demo, actually. Let's just do magazines and demos for this one. The boy, oh my god, the lads are working hard. Look at these guys. We need, we need a chicken here. There's too many guys in here. Look at this. Right, who have we got here? Right, dialogue's very important for an adventure. So we'll put that all the way up. So we think it's very important. Yeah, I would agree there. AI, quite important. Level design, quite important. So let's put like that, I think. Right, so Nalzi's good on design. Uh, so let's put Nalzi on level design. Uh, Jared Gomez, let's put you on AI, because that's least important. In fact, no, Nalzi is most important, actually. Put him, put him there. Jared, you can go there, and Louis, you can go there. So that's kind of because Nalzi's a higher level, so I think they might, he might just do a little bit better on the dialogues. The hype's building. The hype train is coming at the station. We should have maybe, maybe I should have got a publisher for this one. So yeah, thanks for the suggestion from Films You Hate. It sounded like a cool, it's just a good name for a game. Espionagery. I think it's a great name for a game. Uh, Nazi has not got much workload uh, that he can do now. So let's put tech, oh, tech for Jared. So definitely Jared on the graphics. 99, yeah. Now, Louis, you can go on the sound. No, I want Nazi on the sound, actually. Nazi's overloaded. Fuck, we're going to have to swap that around. That's a bit better, isn't it? Uh, Nalzi is not having fun on that, that world design. But I think world design is quite important. Uh, no, no, it can't be that important. It can't be as important as graphics and sound. No way. Right, what about that? Do think, what do you think of that, yeah? I think that's good. Jared's got a bit of a bad job there. On Let's not overwork Jared. There we go. Okay. I think that's pretty perfect. Hopefully this is going to go well. Espionagery. One of our, it's a new IP for us. Oh, a big game convention will take place in four weeks. Do you want to participate? We can have a small booth, a small pop-up stand where you can show off marketing material. It's very impressive, but a common setup at G3. Or we can have a medium booth. It's a larger booth in a better location. We could should expect more visitors with this booth and have space to give away demos of our games or a large booth. Let's go for a medium booth. It's 500k. G3 is very important. Honestly, it's very important. That should hopefully give us um, some big uh, hype. 
Let's finish these bugs off, guys. There we go. Fucking Jared is... Who was cracking through those bugs? Who was Jared there? All right, we finished. I think we're finished. Hype's not going any higher. Finished. Game conventions. Oh, here we go. Best and greatest games. Espionagerie. And ain't your pet no mole. Oh, we've got tons of visitors to our booth. 40,000, 30,000 visitors, 40,000, 60,000 visitors, 70, or is that copy sold? What does it mean? Is that people visiting? We had, oh yeah, 72,000 people. We didn't make the top 100 booths. That's fine. That's fine. We did, we did quite well. Right, we've put a big investment into espionagerie. Uh, I've got my, I've got high hopes. <laughs> I've got fucking high hopes for this game. Oh, please God, espionagerie, do well. Please, please. First review. Oh, here we go. Oh no, I don't see any 10s. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god, it's a flop! It's a flop! <laughs> oh, come on, please. Waste of time. Game Hero, you fucking bastards. It's not that bad. Not bad. Not good. Okay. Well, all games, you can go fuck yourself. Vonnie, right, we need... Yeah, I don't... Wait a minute. Vonnie has announced a real console called PlayStation Play System. Apparently, this company has worked. Uh, please put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new Play System comes with a CD-ROM and 32-bit processors, and is wholly owned by Vonnie. Industry professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles, and Invento declined to comment. Right, we need a game report. We need a fucking game report right now. What did we do badly? Espionagery. Oh my god. What did we do? What have we done? New research available sequels. Nalzi, you know what to do. Research sequels, because we need a sequel right now. We need a sequel for one of our top games, <laughs> because fucking hell. Right, generate that game report. Oh my god. Jared, I see you sitting around doing nothing. You can train in this. Fucking Jared. That was a medium game, though. That's probably it. Post analysis is complete. Spy and adventure is a great combination. Level design seems not to be very important for this type of game. Topic, audience match was good. So we did everything okay. We have some additional insights. Self-publishing medium games will be the most efficient when we have... Oh, shit! Oh, that's what the problem was. We needed a fucking publisher. All right, play systems released. Fuck, we needed a publisher. Of course we needed a publisher. It's just... Ugh. Right, so we, we've researched sequels. Is there anything else we can research? Should we get casual games out of the way? Let's get this out of the way. It's been sitting there for ages. Can you research a new topic? Uh, research vampire, because a lot of people were asking for vampire games, and I hadn't unlocked it. So let's, let's unlock this, and let's get ready for our next game. I'm looking at my other screen for the next game that we're going to make. We've done that one, we've done that one, we've got these two left. I'm going to go for that one next, I think. That seems like a smart one. Uh, Jared, are you finished with your training? No, yeah, you are finished. Okay. Uh, right. Let's make a new game. Shall we? Let's do- Oh, we can develop a sequel. Hello. Let's develop a sequel to Espionagerie! No, let's not. Uh, right, 8.75. Let's not develop a sequel to that one yet. Tony Hawk's gets a job. Then that could use a sequel. That could use a- I could use a sequel, maybe. Um, Tortoise Mayhem. Tour de Scotland. Memoirs of a General. Now, that was a fucking game. Memoirs of a General was a fucking game. Um, everyone loved that game. Look at these. Look at these early games. Monster Hunt. Oh shit! That was before we were any good. Jester's life. Oh Jesus, Jester's life. Oh fucking hell. Oh god. Memoirs of a general. We could maybe develop a sequel. No, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new game. Develop a new game. Oh, we can we create a custom engine actually? We've got 3D graphics now. Uh. What? What? I don't get that. We can have both the graphics? Simple cutscenes? Better dialogues? Oh man, open world. Let's put all of that in there. And this is the professional version 2.0 because it's got 3D graphics. So let's get this all sorted and then we're going to make a new game. And I'm ready. I know what game we're going to make. I know that we're coming up for 20 minutes. I don't care. I like this game. It's fun. It's an easy game to play. That's what this game... If, if you're thinking about buying this game, it's a really fun game to play. That's the thing. It's just really easy. You don't have to sit and, like, spam lots of buttons and do tons of shit. It's just nice to sit down and chill out. These boys are fucking working hard. Holy shit. Right, new engines available. Right, okay. Right, Jared looks like he needs a break, but I don't give a shit. 
Okay, so this game is called... This game was uh, suggested by YouTuber Sporiac, and it's called Shank Shank. Which, to me, <laughs> is a glorious name. It's for the mature audience. It is a prison simulator. And it's for the PC. And it's going to be using Professional 2.0. And basically, it's a game where you play a prisoner who has been wrongfully imprisoned. And the only way of getting out of the prison is to murder everyone. So it's a... <laughs> you have to shank uh, everyone. Uh, so let's go next on that. Uh, 2D, 3D graphics. Yes. Yeah. Right, let's market this bad boy. Let's... Um, yeah, let's put out some magazines and demos. Absolutely. Right, so gameplay, very important. Story quests, very little import. And engine, medium import. Simple cutscenes, absolutely. Let's keep going. This looks like it's going to be a fucking game. The hype's building. Shank Shank is going to bring us in the dollars, guys. I know it for a fact. Dialogues, no, get out of here. AI, it's a sim, of course. Better dialogues. Let's put that on anyway. Level design, sure thing. But that's looking right to us, I think. I'm happy with that. Yeah, there we go. AI. AI has to be important in every sim, right? If it's a simulation, the artificial intelligence is, by definition, the purpose of the game. Right, graphics, yes. Sounds, uh, open world, why not? Open world on a, gra on a prison simulator. Fantastic. You can't even get into the world. Um, uh, right, that's probably about right. The hype, I want to get past 13. I want to hit at least 20 on the hype. Can we hit 20 on the hype? No, just a 16. Let's finish off these bugs. Come on, guys, get hyped about the lack of bugs. There's no bugs, guys! Ah, No, they don't care. Finish. I'm going to have to give Jared a holiday after this. Leveled up our gameplay, leveled up our AI. Nothing else. Right, let's release this game. We can now research character progression and better AI. That's quite good. Jared, uh, send on vacation. The first reviews are in. Oh god, here we go. Please, please, no, please, no! Enjoyable. Star Games thinks it's okay. Nice experience from informed gamer. A seven, okay, seven. I, I'm, I, can, I can deal with a seven. Shows potential. You know, maybe we'll get a good, um... Oh, we're, we're dying, guys. Generate a game report, yeah. Yeah, on Shank Shank. Come on, get us, get us some moolah. We need some cash. We need some fucking money in the bank. Let's research. 1.1 million. Oh, we are fucking... We're, we're circling the drain, folks. We're circling the drain. Let's research. Uh, what do we need to research? Character progression. That's a lot of money. Better AI. That's a lot of money. Holy fuck. Should I have stuck with 3D gra uh, 2D graphics? Maybe I should have stuck with 2D graphics. Post analysis is, uh, is complete. Great combination. Sound seems to be quite important. I did put sound up, didn't I? Pretty sure I did put sound up. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for watching, everyone. No, fuck that. I've got one more game. We develop a new game because this is another game that I liked. I like the sound of this one, and this is was suggestion suge uh, suggested by Raisonable, Raisonable, Raisin, as in raisins, the fruit, and it's called The Moon. To us. And I, it, I like the sound of this one. It's a um, sci-fi... Uh, what was it? A sci-fi adventure game, he says, right? Uh, or she. Uh, it's for the PC, of course. Adventure, yeah. Uh, we're going to use a potential 2.0. Sure. And it's... It, uh, they didn't give me a definition for this game. But I like to think it's kind of like a game where the moon has either adjusted course or is hurtling towards Earth. And like we need to work to stop the moon from hitting the hitting the planet, right? And the the name I just really like the name, the moon to us. I like that name. Now, three D graphics. Should I just go? Let's just go two D graphics because apparently that's better. I don't I don't I don't get it. But three D graphics. We've got the three D graphics in the protectional engine anyway, so we can just kind of ride that high, right? So we have no info on a sci fi adventure game. Right, so story and quest is probably going to be quite important because this is an, a sci-fi adventure game, right? Engine, less important. Gameplay, quite important, I think. But story quest, definitely. Come on, has to be there. Engine, a little bit less. Right, I'm happy with that. 
Right, so this, let's market this game right now. We'll just do some standard advertising. Some very basic advertising. It's not going to be a biggest game of the year, but it's just, oh, high dialogues, yeah. Low level design. And intelligence can be like here. There. Okay, that's a strange, that's a strange setup. Um, it's not going to be the biggest game of the year, but it's going to be a bit of fun. It's a new, it's a new IP for us. And I like generating new IPs because it gives us stuff to work sequels off of. Alright, graphics high. Sound, I would also see high. And raw design, high too. There. Okay. I, I'm crossing my fingers. Our hype isn't getting too high, but that's okay. In two months, the Venegear will be off the market. That's cool. We don't really have anything invested in the Venegear. Let's get rid of these 10 bugs. Shrank Shrank's now off the market. It generated uh, some decent sales. Not great, but okay. Okay, big game convention. Uh, medium booth, 500k? No, just a small booth, please. Let's... Shall we wait until... Shall we wait until G3 before we finish the game? Oh no! The hype's going down! Strategy is important. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, the hype's dropping. Fuck, I missed, I missed clicked it. I thought we could wait until the convention was over. Leveled up our graphics and our 2D thing and we leveled up our analysis. Released the game. Fuck, our hype went down. I'm really annoyed by our hype went down. Shit, 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 shit. First reviews are in. Come on. Oh no, I saw one. Fun at stages. Oh no. I like it. <laughs> Quirky but good. Okay, that's good. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Uh, Jar, before you go on holiday, generate a game report on the moon to us, please. Here's... We've only got the moon to us or a fucking thing. Oh my god. We're only gonna get... Oh wait, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 50k, that's not bad for an 80k booth. Not at all. We could have done a lot worse. Yeah, I know you need a holiday. You can go on holiday after you finish this game report. Venegear is no longer support, I know. Okay. Right, we're, we've we've really drained the cash, folks. So what I need for you in the comment section is I'm going to need some serious money makers here. I'm going to need some big games. I need some big titles. We need to rack in the cash. We've generated two or three new IPs in this video, so we need to now essentially suck some dick and get some fucking easy games out there that are going to make us big bucks. So comment section below with your names for games, your ideas for games, and I will take them into consideration and pick some of the best for the next video. Uh, what was it? Sci-fi great. Sound seems not very important. Oh, I've put too much in sound. Topic is great. Well, it must have been the sound. You can go on vacation. Right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Nelsie. You've been fantastic. If you enjoy this series and you want me to continue playing it, then please do click like. The likes have dropped off a little bit recently on Game Dev Tycoon, so I'm just giving you a warning that I am keeping an eye on that. So if you, if you are if you are a bit bored by the series, then, of course, don't like it. But if you do like the series, then you have to show your support by clicking like, or I may just uh, discontinue playing it because nobody wants it. Okay, cool. Right, well, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vet doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and faith and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vet, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.